rhythm game. Danganronpa with her own hands. Together, we're gonna end Danganronpa! Screw you, audience. Screw you. What just happened? Rhythm game, that's what happened. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I see. That's what happened. Sorry. Apparently I got freaking disconnected. Whatever. Like I said, it's pointless. I was in the middle of doing the freaking rhythm game, so it I was hardly worried about it. Danganronpa end. I was too focused on it, so sorry. I I was in the middle of the rhythm game. I I beat I beat him. Everyone loves Danganronpa. Entertainment will continue forever! Now then, let's proceed with voting time! <laughs> I think hopeful Kibo should vote for despairing Kamugi, without a doubt! That's what the outside world wants to see! Let's give it everything we've got! Presenting one last voting time! Come on, Kibo, come on! Abstain. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I freaking disconnected. But it happened. All right, looks like voting is over. Let's hurry and announce the results. I didn't vote. That was the right thing to do, right? Yes. The three of us might be penalized for abstaining to vote, but what's going to happen to Kibo and Sumugi? If Kibo is controlled by the outside world, he must have voted for Sumugi. Then what about Sumugi? If she had cast one vote for Kibo, then it would be a tie, but... Oh, there's no need to worry about that. I didn't vote either. What? Just as I thought. You wanted Hope to win. That's if K Kibo ended up, do ended up voting for Samugi. That's not it. We're friends, aren't we? There's no way I'd abandon you guys. Friends? You've got no right saying that now! <laughs> I turned over a new leaf! I'm not lying, it's the truth! So, since the four of us abstained from voting, only Kibo's vote counts. No matter who he voted for, the only one who survives is Kibo. So, in other words, the winner is Hope. Did you check the actual voting results? Did you? But Kibo said earlier that he'd sacrifice himself and take the punishment, right? So we're going to punish him. He'll be participating in the next killing game. Hold it. Why are you punishing Kibo? 
If Kibo survives, then there's no need for him to be sacrificed. It doesn't work like that. He needs to follow through on his word. Did you actually check the freaking voting results? You're just assuming. That's not fair! Are you twisting the rules again? It's fine, because this is all fiction. Maybe it's a bit forced, but that's fiction for you, right? Well, since I didn't vote, I'll be killed with you guys. But I'll accept my death. If you guys are willing to die to stop the killing game, I'll die to continue it. Even if it's just fiction, I gave my life to make it. I've given my life to Danganronpa. And how about this for the next plotline? Hope has won, but the lone survivor, Kibo, remains trapped. Now he'll challenge the killing game anew. Will he be able to grasp true hope? Yeah. An ending like that can work, right? What? This is the worst possible ending. But this is bad. At this rate, our deaths will be meaningless. <laughs> well, <we already laughs> the smile. The, the smile. We should follow protocol. Monokuma, please tell us the results. Okay, then let's begin. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Who will win? Hope. Or despair. Neither, clearly. Whoops. So about that plan, uh about that plan, Samugi. How you how you feeling about that? Five people have seen from voting. What did you say? What's going on? Didn't Kibo vote? <laughs> Phew, I'm relieved. It, it can't be. What? What is this? Okay. The world has changed. What? That's true. If Kibo refused to vote, that means the world has changed. It means the audience chose not to vote as well. That's it. They rejected this killing game. Serves you right. That's what you get for breaking the rules like that. Why? Hold on, this is really okay. I think Dongan Ropa is going to end. This killing ain't full of tense standoffs and backstabbing among friends. Yeah. It's just gonna abruptly end with season 53. Is that really okay? Yes, screw your consumerism. Everyone's shutting it off. No. Your words can't reach them anymore. Viewership is going bye-bye. That's it. You never appreciated us, and it looks like you didn't appreciate the power of fiction. No one wants to hear you anymore. No one wants to hear your sick, twisted stories anymore it's over this is it it's finished <laughs> it really is the end isn't it well, what are we gonna do now now that it's over there's no need for your any punishments no, no. what a half-assed ending this is no way to end Danganronpa no, it needs to end with a punishment at the very least. Let's see. Hey. Now, if we continue to live after this choice we made, won't really matter. People will just want another killing game, so the only way we can stop this killing game is to kill ourselves. God, so let's just get it over with. It's going to end with everyone being annihilated. Never expected an ending like that, so I don't have a punishment ready. So I'll just leave it to Kibo. Yes. 
All right, I'll do it. Screw you, Monokuma. <laughs> I'll be the one who ends this killing game. I'll bring this fiction to an end. Come on, Kibo. Come on, Kibo. Destroy this entire fictional world and end the killing game. Please do not screw the bear. That is what the outside world wants. Are you sure about that? Are you sure it's gonna be everyone dies? <laughs> Worked hard to keep this going for 53 seconds, now it's all over. Well, that's fine. If this is world without killing games now. No. I don't want to be a part of it. I have no interest in a world without Danganronpa. I don't know how old Mugi is. She's clearly much older than she freaking looks. I guess this is it for us. No, it's a vibe ring. That's kind of a bummer. It's okay. But now it's all over. We're the last ones to suffer from the killing games. Okay. Is Mugi a McGilf? <laughs> Come on, everyone. We should be proud. We were able to change the world in the end. If this is all just fiction, then everything we achieved up till now might be a lie. Those lies, they change the world. Even if we are just fictional characters someone made up. That's it. We were able to change the world. All right. You're right, I feel the same way. My plan was such a flawless copy, it even failed right at the end. So I should be able to hold my head up high. As a cosplay cat criminal, right? Huh? Cosplay cat criminal? Very well, let's begin. Or rather, let's end this. This is the will of the outside world. Look at him go. Hi, Junko. Don't. <laughs> oh, she's so sad. Oh. Well, uh, Mugi died in the same exact way as, uh, Junko. Cool. Self-destruct. Thank you, Kibo. You were best boy. What a freaking ending. <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna let it go for now. Because I can't skip. <sighs> I mean, I don't think it's the end. This is just the credits. There's always something at the end.
Well... Honestly... Okay, so... Can't wait for Danganronpa 4. <laughs> uh... I don't know, though. Um... At least in regards to, like... Oh, it was obviously a joke. It was obviously a joke. Because, <laughs> like... The whole point of this was, like, to, like, be a send-off for the creator and some of his team. Like, yeah, there is, like, the freaking Danganronpa S. But that's, like, a side game. It doesn't really... It doesn't really matter. It's a non-canon game. Well, yeah, the that's what the main creator has been doing since after the release of this game. He's been doing other games. He's done two animes. He's um, working on another game right now that's going to be published by the same publisher who published this series. Granted, uh... Said team is also full of Danganronpa and Zero Escape veterans. So there's a little bit of. a little bit of, uh. creative. Well, there's quite a bit of creative control over that. But then, in regard to, like, how that trial went. I like it much, much better than the freaking fifth one. The fifth one was bullshit. I hated the fifth trial. The sixth one is way better. At least to me. I could care less about the freaking meta stuff, because I don't think that works for Danganronpa. I think they should have just dropped the meta stuff entirely. Like, if they wanted to keep the whole truth versus fiction, truth versus lies thing, go for it. That was a good idea. Just maybe don't use meta stuff. Because the problem with meta stuff is that you... It's rarely done correctly. Very rarely. Yes, it also did, and I hated it for that. Just... Eh. I don't like free try. I don't like pre-game anybody. They all suck. Save the game before you can use the clear game bonus. We strongly recommend you save the game. I mean, I was going to do anyway. Oh. That's it, huh? Oh, they freaking, they freaking pulled the rug under me. Yeah, somehow. I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't even interact or anything. <laughs> I'm sort of stuck here. Someone help me out. Help her. Help the freaking mage. Himiko, careful. Yeah, I'm saved. The mage. 
need it. Hey, how were we saved? Why are we still alive? Uh, yeah, why are we alive? I wonder... Killing game is over. Last trials are over. The fictional world is over. So then, where are we? Another fictional world after the fiction has ended? What's left for us here? Maybe that's for you to decide. We were silent for a long while, staring into the other side, where we continue to hope. And they continue to torture us. The outside world. 53 times. Hope moved forward. 53 times. The suffering continued. The world on the other side of the fiction. The real world. So. What do we do now? We didn't think of a plan for what to do after. I thought that was the end of us back there. But we survived. And that's the truth. Okay. Seems as though we don't really have a choice. We can't stay here anymore. Hey. But I don't get it. Seriously, I don't remember how are we still alive? When this world destroyed itself, I thought we would go down with it. You're right. And Kimo probably saved us. Mm. We made sure we didn't die. Why? Why would he do that? There's no point in us escaping to the outside world. We're just fictional characters. He will save us because he was acting on on what the outside world wanted. No. Then maybe this is what the outside world wanted. For these three to live on without the killing game or anything. Mm -hmm. I still live. Okay. That's right. In addition to any all this, the outside world wants us to live. Suppose the outside world wants us this lie to become the truth. <laughs> so come on, everyone. Let's head outside with the co confidence. The outside world is waiting. The outside world, huh? I wonder what kind of world it is. Peaceful world with no fighting and no despair. That's what Samuki said, right? You're right. Yeah, if she wasn't lying. It might be a lie. Because Remember the last thing Samuki said. My plan was just a f such a flawless copy. It even failed right at the end. So I should be able to hold my head up high as a cosplay cat criminal, right? If I remember she said copy. That means she must have been copying someone, right? Junko. What? what does that mean? <laughs> what indeed? What did you say? What? You don't know? But... Well, I have some theories. Perhaps Hope's Peak Academy and the Remnants of Despair really exist. That's what I'm saying, though, is that, like, I have a feeling they do exist. It's just that Moogie and shit is just picking details here and there to make fictional. Maybe Samugi was just basing your performance on them. Hey. Samugi lied about this whole world being just fiction. What did you say? Surprise ending? No. I don't really know for sure. She might have been lying when she said copy. Y yeah. Hmm. And if she were telling the truth, then it would make sense that that was a lie. What, what do you mean that? That's... What somebody showed us, the way we were when we first arrived. Huh? What am I wearing? Good, now you look more like ultimates. Huh? Ultimates. Really? So... Next up, the memory you've all been waiting for. You guys are ready? Hell yeah, get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. Killing game? Could it be... You mean we were selected? All right. We got picked? Really? All right. <laughs> really? I'm selected for it too. 
I still don't believe it. I can't believe that any of us would volunteer for this. We forgot everything about our old selves after that first flashback like didn't we? If I remember correctly. That's what Samuki said, but something's been bugging me about that. Even when we were obsessed with this killing game, I still can't believe we would participate in it. I just don't believe it. <laughs> eh, but I don't really have any logic behind that. What? What Kaito's hunch is, huh? What's the point? Anyway, there's no way for us to check when we all apply to the Academy, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Look, we can't check. Hmm. So in the end, we still don't know what was true or not. <sighs> Fictional world ends here, and the real world lies out there. Perhaps just beyond here is the truth. Maybe it isn't. Don't tell me. Maybe it's still fiction in that world, or maybe Donga and Robot still in that world, or still continues in that world, or. Or maybe the outside world is the same as this world. It might be a world filled with lies. Hmm. Well, if you can get out from here, we'll know for sure. But... Yeah, but I feel like there's not much meaning in truth and lies. Hmm? What do you mean? Hmm. I mean that even if something is a lie, even if it's fiction, Remember. if it has the power to change the world, then it must contain some kind of truth. <laughs> exactly. This fictional world, we overcame all these fictional struggles, but those things changed us, and we were able to change the world. So it doesn't really matter where the truth ends and where the lies begin. If lies can change the world just as well as the truth can, then lies are just another way of telling the truth. Some lies can lead the world to hope, some truths can lead the world to despair. So I don't think anyone can really say which is more right in the end. Yes, yeah, not for whether it's truth or lie, just what it leads to. Okay. Yeah, that's what I believe. We stand with one foot in fiction and one foot in reality. That's what I'm thinking, though. Is that like just because their their freaking backstories or whatever is fucking bullshit? They're still living right now, and what they live now is what matters. Then, we need to see for ourselves whether this fictional world has changed the outside world, and what we can do from this point on. You're right. We can't stay in this fictional world forever. It's already over. We gotta take all the experience we earned in this world, and go on to the next. Yeah. Let's go. We'll see what this world gained, and what it lost, and all the rest. Let's find out, together. The other side of this world, the other side of fiction, let's find out, together. It's what we sh could accomplish. Story lives on. I'm sure, even now, even on the other side, it lives on there as well. And thus, the story lives on. Was this lie able to change something? Was this lie able to change someone? Was this lie able to change the world? If it was able to change even the smallest thing, then this story is not over. Well, there it is. The end of Danganronpa. Woo! Okay, so general thoughts. Um there's definitely like very mismanaged things in this game. No doubt about that. 
Kokichi? Absolute shit. W worst writ written character in the freaking game. In regards to, like, how his character progresses... He's fine up until freaking chapter 5. Chapter 5 is where his character co falls completely apart. Because once you get to the point where it's just like, Oh, he's... Uh, you, 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 He's all freaking... He's trying to save everyone, so of course he's right. He's a sweet little baby. No. His actions do not line up with his motive. Which is why I feel his motive... At the end of freaking... Uh, chapter 4 makes more sense. Just stick with that freaking motive. Just... Don't make him a sweet little oo baby. Fuck Kokichi. In regards to, like, the Trial 6 as a whole, I'm a little mixed, but I still end up enjoying the majority of it. My main problem is more with the freaking meta elements. The meta me elements are... Eh, I can take them or leave them. I don't really have many strong opinions on one way or another, but I'd definitely rather them not be there. But in regards to, like, how the actual trial progressed and whatnot, I enjoyed it for the most part. So I can't really fault it. And, and I guess in regards to this whole game, I'm definitely on the fan side of things. I enjoyed it regardless of my issues with it. So, yeah, in the end, at the end of the day, it's just what I think about it. <laughs> but I guess because of that, we're now done with Danganronpa. Like, like, maybe I'll play around with, like, um, Danganronpa S, maybe. But not, I'm not gonna, like, think about, I don't think I'm gonna think about, like, streaming with that. Maybe a little bit, like, on Hangouts or something, because it's, it's pretty much just, like, a very chill kind of game. Very non-canon. You don't have to worry about any, only, any of that stuff. But, since we're done with this game, I think we're going to try to at least start up the Zero Escape series on Friday. Because, uh, on Game Pass, they actually have the first two, uh, they have the first two games remastered. So, I can at least play around with that and see how see how that game that game series goes with me but other than that i appreciate y'all coming by uh, another freaking seven hour damn stream nearly eight hours but i guess from here on uh hope y'all have a good day and we'll reconvene on uh well yeah we'll reconvene on wednesday and we'll go from there so, I'll appreciate, I appreciate y'all coming. See y'all Wednesday, and I hope you take care of yourselves. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'll see y'all later. Take care.